Police say for now charges will not be filed in the death of a small child left in a hot car Wednesday. But the investigation does remain open. Could the parents still be prosecuted? As News Channel 5's Nick Barris tells us, that will depend on a number of factors. Is a child dying in a hot car criminal? I think many of you would probably say yes. The question is, will this case ever make it to criminal court? And if so, what exactly will the charges be? So it is a very difficult law when it comes to these type of events. Legal expert Jim Todd is talking about the death of a one-year-old girl in a hot car Wednesday in Nashville. Very, very difficult case for all sides. The child's father, Matt Barker, told investigators he forgot about the baby in the back seat after dropping off her sibling at daycare. He returned home and then took a ride share to catch a flight at the airport. His wife discovered the child in the hot car that evening. Such a case triggers angry reactions, with some even calling for a first-degree murder charge. Todd says no way, but aggravated child abuse, a Class A felony, is an option. If the defendant knowingly, other than by accidental means, treats a child in such a manner to inflict Injury. For now, this appears to be a horrible accident, in some ways similar to the death of Stephanie Gray's son in a hot car six years ago in Donaldson. Kept saying to myself, how did I do this? What, did, what have I done? What did I do? I just couldn't, I couldn't understand how my brain had played such a trick on me, if you will. In that case, Gray was cited for reckless endangerment and neglect and given two years probation. The same could happen in this case. I think the state has a lot of leeway here. Police will continue to investigate the case and then it will be left to the district attorney whether or not to file any charges. In Nashville, Nick Barris, News Channel 5. Nick, thank you. The district attorney will review the case file when it is finished and decide whether to send it on to the grand jury for a potential indictment. Yo, YouTube, YouTube, what's going on? Trey back again, hit you with a video. Now this video right here comes out of Nashville, Tennessee by way of Tenneke. If you don't know what Tenneke means, it ain't for you to know. And also ask some people if you don't know what Tenneke means. And by the way, big shout out to Young Bud, 8-Ball, MJG, Fat Pat, everybody. You know, I, ain't, I said Fat Pat, I mean Project Pat. Anyway, we have a very sad story. We have a one-year-old girl, a little baby girl. She was adopted by some white parents and stuff. And the father allegedly was running late on a business trip. Now, he dropped one child off at a daycare. Then, evidently, he forget the other child was in the damn back seat. And how the hell do he forget a child in the back seat? He go catch a flight, leave the child in the car all day long, stuck in the car seat, and the child end up basically dying. And that had to be a very sad situation because I know one damn thing. When it gets too hot and I'm sitting up in some, I just lose my mind. I'm just already claustrophobic anyway. But to be in a damn hot car, you can't get out and nobody is willing to help you or nothing. So, like, where was his vehicle parked there? Was it parked in an isolated area where it was by itself or was it around other vehicles? Because I know this child was screaming. And when a child screamed, you can hear a child screaming. So, evidently, this car was parked somewhere where wasn't too many people walking back and forth so the child ended up dying and everything and basically people like should his dad be charged with uh some kind of manslaughter murder charge or you know what could be done about this situation so i'm just here to deliver the story it's a very sad story but i'm gonna do my best with it you know how that goes and i'm gonna get my opinion surely as we go nashville baby hot car death business dad notice i said business dad accidentally Forgets black daughter in the car. Yes. So, now, you do you remember the story that I did, uh, I think it was earlier this year or last year, where we have a woman who left her kids in the car, and they end up trying to arrest this woman, and, she, and her kids didn't even die or nothing. They were just basically left in the car for a while. She was going to go, she was taking care of some kind of business or something, and uh, they arrested her for leaving her kids in the car for too long. But this man right here left this kid in the car, all of the guys of him going on a, on, on a business trip somewhere, and the child end up dying and he don't get any kind of charge. How can you forget your own child in the back seat? That's what I don't know. I bet you didn't forget your suitcase, your briefcase, not your suitcase, your briefcase that you uh, travel with. I bet you didn't forget your suit and tie. But it's funny that you can forget a human being in the back seat. I find that very uh, hypocritical and I think it's a bold-faced lie. And I'm not saying he intentionally murdered the girl. All I'm saying is this right here. And I have to be very blunt when I say this because 
I just don't understand that if you can't, if you, that's just like you forgetting to put your pants on. That's just like you forgetting to put your drawers on. You know what I'm saying? Now, if he would have got out that uh, vehicle, whatever he was in, butt naked with nothing on, then I can say, well, okay, well, he got some kind of memory problem. Something's wrong with his mind. But if you didn't forget nothing else, but you forgot the child, but you dropped the other child off, what kind of bullshit is that? You know, anyway, let's continue. Now, Katira Barker, a recently adopted one-year-old baby girl, has died after being left in a hot car by her Nashville, Tennessee business dad. Notice they say business dad. Just say adoptive father, if you will. All that business shit, them words don't mean nothing to us because we done overcame that. We know what all that mess means. See, they throw all them big words out there. Depends on who they trying to make look good. You know, that's what that's just that's that's just what the media does. You know, and now if, if if the shoe was on the other foot, and if it would have been a father, it probably worked at uh Easy Mart or Seven Eleven. Oh, uh, uh, thugged out dad leaves daughter in hot car. His ass need to be locked up. Probably say his ass need to be locked up on a title. Anyway, now the girl's death on Wednesday follows after being left in her father's vehicle just on just in ten hours as the man told of making his way to a business trip when he inadvertently left the child behind. The child was left in the car 10 hours. You mean to tell me, 10 hours, that the foster mom, that the adopted mother did not know that there's uh, some, some was going on with her kid? You know what I'm saying? You, you mean to tell me that she did not call to check in on the baby? You mean to tell me that if you were taking this child to another daycare somewhere, you didn't call over there and check on your child or anything else? And also... Within 10 hours, what kind of job do you have? And I'm sure they would have wanted you to come pick up your child up in 8 hours. So the mom did not know that this child was missing this whole time without calling and checking on your child? Oh, I guess it don't matter if it ain't yours. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people going to get mad at that. But uh, it's kind of funny the other one survived and this one right here just sat in the car and just basically roasted like a turkey. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, now at the time, the Tennessean reported... Matt Barker taking his children, Katira, and a five-year-old to daycare earlier this week when he returned to his Tennessee home to leave for a business trip. You're taking them both to the damn daycare, but you forget the one-year-old, but you remember the five-year-old. I found that very hard to believe. How the father managed to drop the five-year-old child off while not being cognizant of also not having to drop off the adopted one who had already arrived in the same vehicle remained unclear. That's what I want to know right there. How can you miscalculate that in your mind and you're a businessman which means you highly intelligent or you should be you know what i'm saying because you got some dumb ass business people too but not successful if you a businessman you taking flights and trips you you a very smart guy so you mean to tell me that you weren't able to count from one to two and realize okay it's one child in there i got another one in the back i'm gonna have to pick that one up and probably take that one in there you did not remember all that i mean damn now, a report via News Channel 5 revealed Barker Wednesday morning running behind schedule and rather than dropping off both children at the daycare center as he customarily did. Well, why did he do it that damn way since it was customarily did? Where a shuttle service would then transport his five-year-old to uh, elementary school, the father instead drove directly to the elementary school where he dropped the five-year-old girl off. Damn, your business trip was that damn important? You know, why Why don't you just do the normal thing like you always done and drop them both off at the daycare? The shuttle service come pick the five-year-old up, take the five-year-old to the elementary school. You have to clear. But no, you drive to the school to drop the child off. Some that you customarily, since they want to use the word customarily, customarily you never did. So who's lying and who's telling the damn truth? Hmm, Mr. Business Dad. Anyway, your business, before I continue, your business should have been looking after these children. That was your first business, but I guess that's too much like what they call, uh, right the father claimed not remembering his black adoptive baby daughter being in the vehicle when he returned to the family home after driving his eldest child to school now you return your ass home and you ain't brought the ch children with you the mom ain't called and checked in on shit you know what i'm saying that sounds very suspect right there and also the moment that you uh, went back home i'm sure you were using your same vehicle why do you notify the authorities that you had this dead child in the back why didn't you call your wife you probably did she probably lied for you and I'm not saying she will or not. I'm just saying most cases they will lie. Why do you notify somebody at first, you know? And also, why wasn't this child being checked on? Why didn't the daycare call him and ask the mom, which most of them do. They know you bring your child in there every day. Is everything all right? We just call to check on a child, Miss Katera. You know, everything okay? We're just making sure, you know, did nobody follow up with anybody. That's some BS right there. Anyway, now Barker, who is now being investigated by Nashville police, 
then took an early morning ride share to the apartment to, to the airport excuse me and flew out for his trip sound like some shit kanye west did when his mama died huh but we ain't gonna get too deep in there it's funny and it's sad how they go take trips where they wind up somewhere else and and they love one or or, or somebody connected to them end up uh falling by the wayside end up losing their life hmm anyway the temperature in Nashville hit 31 degrees Celsius. It was 89 degrees Fahrenheit. The day Katera was left in a damn car. Golly, you lucky you went in California or Houston some damn where that temperature would have went 110. That afternoon when Katera's mother, Jenny Barker, went to pick up their two children from the uh, from the center, she was told Katera had never been dropped off. And you all know, if you ever dropped a child off at a daycare and you do this every day, that daycare will call and ask you, is the child all right? Are you bringing the child in? Because number one, some of them concerned about the money, but some of them concerned about the child. You know what I'm saying? Is everything okay? Those who really have a heart and love children. Now, some people just do it for the money, call and check in. Like, are you going to bring your child in? We've been waiting on your child. You know, everybody else here. And we're just making sure you're all okay. Whatever happened to that right there, that courtesy call. A call to her husband led to Jen Barker, realizing her daughter was still in her car seat. Inside her husband's pickup truck, a damn Honda Ridge line had to be a damn Honda. According to police, Jen Barker rushed home and pulled her one-year-old out of the four-wheel drive just before 6 p.m. to perform CPR before paramedics arrived. Baby been sitting in the car all damn day long. Hell, I'm grown and my ass would have probably done suffocated up in that damn car, especially if the damn windows was up. But how can you leave a child in a damn truck? It's not like... Uh, a, a coupe or some or uh, sports car where you can barely see in the back seat you know what i'm saying and that's not even no excuse but the point is the truck sit on the same level if the guy would have been rushing to the hospital and he jumped out of the truck guess what you're gonna still see because it's right there at the window sill, the car sitting there you still will see the, your child because i'm sure he just to jump out the truck and take off running inside the airport or, or or to get on his shuttle service so he can go to the airport no i'm sure he reached back and grabbed the briefcase grabbed the jacket grabbed something I mean, so that means he had enough time to realize this child is not in here. Anyway, now, according to police, uh, Ms. Katera was rushed to Vanderbilt's Children's Hospital, but was pronounced dead on arrival, DOA. Barker arrived home late that night, and police said the couple are being fully cooperative with their investigators. I bet they are. Police said no charges are likely to be filed in relation to Katera's neglectful, neglectful. Death, but it's strange how when other people neglect their child, and even if they didn't mean to do it, like one woman was out looking for a job and left her kids at home. And these kids didn't even get in trouble. They didn't burn nobody. They didn't shoot nobody. They were just left home alone. And a nosy neighbor called the cops, which you shouldn't leave these children at home. But still, the neighbor called the cops, and they still had this woman arrested for neglect. Now here goes a child dies inside of a vehicle, and there's no neglect, no no nothing, and we just supposed to write that off like it's all good. But how and why? And I go back to one thing, because people are, 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 are creatures of habit, which means they have routines. They do the same thing over and over again. And you know I'm telling the truth. Do the same thing over and over again. So why would this guy, when he when they said himself, he customarily dropped the daughters off, the five-year-old and the one-year-old, at the daycare center. The shuttle service come over there, get the five-year-old, transport the five-year-old to school. So why did he not do what he normally do that day was what he was accustomed to doing was dropping both of them off and go on by your business why run to the school to drop the child off leaving a baby in the back seat when that ain't what you customarily did because they said that not me let me know what you all think about this maker this mess about to get me tongue tied and everything else and to miss katara barker that little angel that is so sad i mean they should have just gave you to me you know i would have made sure she was straight and i'm sure a lot of you all also but like i tell you you know you got to be careful, man. You got to be careful out here. And for those of you who have kids and those of you who schedule so big and so and so uh, demanding, I know it is, you know what I'm saying, especially when you have uh, these jobs that demands a lot of your time and attention. But remember, your main priority is not your job. Your main priority is to these children that you done took up under your wing, whether they yours biologically or whether you adopt them. You still took on their responsibility as being their protector, their guardian. So you, so you, should make sure they come first before anything. So if you do that, everything will be all right. But let me know what you all think. Until next time, you all stay blessed. I'm out.